I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will explore the pure complex numbers. We know that this symbol i is used for imaginary numbers and we also know that square of i is negative 1. Right? So, so if there is a negative number and we need a square of some number to be negative then we know it's, it's a domain of complex numbers i square is negative 1. In this exercise, we'll see how the pattern comes with different powers of i. So we have few examples here. We'll check what is i cube, what is i to the power of 4, what is i to the power of 5, i to the power of 6. And from a pattern which we'll see here, we'll try to figure out what should be the value of i to the power of 33 or i to the power of 99 or something like that. Okay, so let's begin by evaluating each. i cube, so we have i to the power of 3. Now we know i square is minus 1, so we should write this as i square times i, right? Now i square is minus 1, so I could say minus 1 times i, and that gives us minus i, right? So i cube is equal to minus i right so it is equals to minus i how about i to the power of 4 i to the power of 4 can be written as i square times i square i square is minus 1 so i'll write minus 1 times minus 1 and that gives us plus 1 right so we can say that i to the power of 4 is plus 1 Let's follow the same strategy for i to the power of 5. Well, I could write this as i to the power of 4 times i, but I prefer to go with the basic, which is i square times i square times i, right? So i square is minus 1 times minus 1 times i. Now minus 1 times minus 1 is plus, so we get i as a result, right? So we get i, okay? Let's do i to the power of 6. i to the power of 6 could be written as, uh, we could write i square cube, right, one way, right. So we could write i square cube, that's one way, right. i square is minus 1 to the power of 3, and that gives us minus 1. So we get i to the power of 6 as minus 1. So this minus 1 is same as i squared. Do you see that? Right? Do we see a pattern here? So let's begin with the first number, imagine number i, right? So that is i, and then we have i squared, and then we have i cubed, then i to the power of 4, i to the power of 5, i to the power of 6. And what values did we came up with? So we have i, okay, i square is minus 1, i cube is minus i, i to the power of 4 is the number 1, and i to the power of 5 is i, and then we get minus 1, right? So what do you see? You notice that these numbers repeat. So if you continue with i7 and so on, the next number should be which follows minus 1 minus i, right? So we should get minus i here. So, so there is a pattern and the pattern is that after every fourth power, the pattern i minus 1 minus i 1 repeats. So we'll use this pattern to find the value of i to the power of 33. Right? So i to the power of 33 could be written as what? Since we know this pattern follows with i to the power of 4 is 1, we could write i to the power 33 as what is the multiple of 4 lower than 33? 32, right? It is 32. So you could think about i to the power of 32 times i, right? i to the power of 32 is i to the power of 4, 4 times 8 is 32. That's why I wrote 32 here, right? 
So this term, i to the power of 4 over 8, we are using the term here, which is 1, correct? So 1 times anything is the number itself, so it should be i, right? i. So that is how you could get it. We'll do it once again with 99. So what you can do here is, you can, you can divide the big number by 4. So if I divide by 4, then 4 times 2, we know is 8. 19 again, 19. And to get 19, 4 times 4 is 16. The remainder is 3. Now if the remainder is 3, then the value of i to the power of 99 should be what? Can you tell me? Third term, 1, 2, 3. It should be this term. Okay. And so our answer is minus i. Do you get an idea? So that's the way to find any power of i, right? So we can evaluate. If I have i to the power, let's say 245. Can you tell me what should be i to the power of 245. Well, we need to divide 245 by 4 and then we know if we divide by 4, the number is going to be between 0. It may go perfectly, right? This is odd, it won't, right? So it will be between 1 and 3, 0 to 3, right? So depending on whatever it is, then you get these numbers. You get an idea, right? So that is how you could find power of i's. I hope this video helps you to understand the pattern and apply the pattern to find or evaluate powers of this pure imaginary number. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.